YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. What is up? I want to bring you this video. It's the top 10 of the decade, 2010 and 2019. Let's get into it. 2010, we have the Air Jordan 9 Premium Bin 23 Collection. Woo! Talk about quality, the leather, the suede, execution, colorway. Man, everything. Jordan did not skimp out on anything this is top-notch quality here oh man fire flame fuego what the heck man Shh. insane insane 2010 coming in at 2011 it is the air jordan one band only released at outlets. X marks the spot. Bop. It's my first Air Jordan 1 pickup. I waited patiently to put these into the collection. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Love these sneakers. Every sneaker here, they're all released in that year, and I was able to get them that year. Just so you know. 2012, the Saucony Grid 9000 Packer Shoes, which they're called Packer now. And uh, these are from the Tech Pack and the Gray Colorway. Love the sneaker. Remember first seeing it in the Sneaker Freaker magazine. Love at first sight. I was like, what? That is what I call a sneakerhead sneaker right there. Like, you see it. Boom. There it is. Love the off-white hit tones here. And just how they balanced it all around just this is what i'm talking about here and you got to have a uh, black outsole some of these sneakers are a ds and some of them have been worn and you can tell these have been worn i love the sneaker yes sir oh all the time this is always in the rotation love these yes sir 2013, we have the Reebok Shack Attack. Love at first sight in the 90s when I seen them on feet. Um, I wanted them and finally got them basically 20 years later. Could have got a used pair or a new pair online on eBay, but I already knew sneakers were going to be re-releasing. Back then, I didn't know that. Um, but I've always loved the sneaker. I remember seeing it on feet and I loved it. It was super expensive. This was on uh, drug dealer's feet, and I was just like, yeah, I ain't getting those. This is too much money. I already know. He got them, like, as soon as they, they were available, I was like, damn, man, I need them. Nah, not for me at the time. Um, glad to have these. <sighs> just love them. Absolutely love these. My favorite Reebok. My favorite um, Shaq. And the colorway is my favorite. It's just, this is it. And they're just uh, general release too. When these re-release, people, you got to get these. You got to put these in your collection. Now, if you don't like them, then, then don't. But if you kind of like them, get them. Coming in at 2014, we have the Nike Air Yeezy Red Octobers. Everybody's grill. You already know. I need it. I need it in my collection. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. You see that, that diamond cut swoosh. Whoo. The strap. Mm. Execution. Yeezy. Yeezy, Yeezy. That suede on the toe box. The only bad thing about it is this. Uh, material, man. It just creases horrible. If these would have been right here, if you would have used a fly knit upper, ooh, ooh, man. My God. You wear them, you wouldn't even be able to tell. <sighs> In incredible sneaker. This is just, love the suede, man. Just execution, man. Just love it. Loves how it wraps around here, cuts into here. Sweet. But yeah, 2014. 2015, we have the Diodora 
and 9,000 times concepts, the lira, based off the money that they used to use. And they switch over to the euro. This is um, uh, Italy money, and this sneaker brand is from Italy, so that's basically a little bit of a storytelling of the heritage of the brand and where it's from. I love how um, Concepts does the storytelling of the sneakers, and this is executed beautifully. People have the N9, other N9000s, and they're higher ranked and stuff. But to me, these are number one. These are my favorite um, N9000s. Um, yeah. If these were made in super limited quantities, people would have, probably have these at number one because these are readily available. They're, that's a good thing because then you can get them. Now, when the years go by, that's when you're going to see. You're going to be like, damn, I don't got those. Well, they're available right now still at a decent price. You know, they're not as hyped as other ones. And I'm just glad. And I'm probably going to get a second pair because these fit a little bit big. Um, but yeah. Is it 11 and a half? I could probably go down to like a 10 and a half. Who the hell knows? I got size 11 and N9000s, and, and they still feel like they're a little bit big. But that's just how these are made. But um, but yeah, N9000. Um, Theodora for 2015. Coming in at 2016, we have the Asics Gel Light 3, Salmon Toe 2.0, Kiss. Fifth year anniversary, Ronnie doing his thing. This was the alternate of the ones that released, and these were made in Japan when these came out in 2016. So the alternate, meaning this is normally a white midsole on the first edition, and you got um, a gray outsole. Uh, so he just changed it up um, compared to the original release. Um, I like this version better because it's just like a, a lot easier to clean once these get dirty. Yes, these are still DS. Like I said, some are DS, some are not. Um, but I love the sneaker. Fire, 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 flames, fuego. Woo! Yes, sir. There we go. Get this thing. Coming in at 2017, we have the Adidas Yeezy Boost 700 Wave Runner colorway. OG colorway of the sneaker. Love at first sight. Saw the pictures when Yeezy was in his office wearing them. They looked a little different. These had like some kind of leather going on here and the toe box was a little bit different. If you go back in pictures, when they did a little, um, uh, what's it, um, fashion show thing, um, the sneakers look a lot different um, than what they released when they did. And they put them up online in August. I believe the pictures came out in January, February. I think it was February. And um, then um, they released in August. And I got them in like November. I think they released in November as well. And then people got them... Uh, in December, they were canceling orders on these. I, it was crazy. It was weird, little weird first release and stuff. But these released three years in a row: 2017, 2018, 2019. These release every year. I would say um, these are one of my favorite sneakers of all time. These are my favorite Yeezys of all time. Um, as you can see, I've been wearing the hell out of these. But yeah, 2017, the Wave Runners. 2018, we have the New Balance times, well, New Balance 997 times United Arrows and Sons um, with Kith. Kith was the one that released these. Um, United Arrows and Sons did the first release, but they used the 998 outsole. I'm thinking New Balance wasn't wanting to release these out of the vault, so they let people do the uh the hybrid version the 997.5 or they just wanted to put it into the notch of a different um you know time in their timeline something different for people to you know 
dive into that. Oh, I didn't even know those exist. They use the outsole of a 998, really, on a 997 upper? That's crazy. Why would they do that? But yeah, they did. And so um, Ronnie was able to take the 997 and use the whole OG, everything, use the colorway from the United Arrows and Sons, slap it on here, and do its little remix. He used the black tongue, black sock liner, and um, just uh, little 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 things like that, and little touches like this, just to change it up. The only thing is, as you can see, this sucks here. You got the little ridges here, which I did a video on these as well. And um, but yeah, sometimes it goes that way. I love this sneaker. Nine nine seven. Favorite nine nine seven. And coming in at 2019, we're almost done here. It is the Kangaroos times Goldberg, the Runaway. Model is 001 Roos, Roos 001. And um, it is the Tonic Water Hibiscus Company here, collaborating with Kangaroos. And this upper is um, New Book and Cow Suede. Yes. And they only made 376 pairs of these. They're all uh, stamped on the one shoe, which is the other shoe. And um, they're just stamped here on the inside here. And I just love the layers of gray on here. So you, it's just in, insane. You got gray here. And then you got this head of other gray here, which is on the toe box here. Then you have this dark gray coming up all on most of the upper on the toe box as well. And then you got another hit of gray here. Side panel here, wrap it around the heel here. And then you got this like stamp. So you can see the kangaroos and the roos here in another gray. It's just like, it's almost similar to this right here. And it's just a depth. And then it hits you with some white in the midsole. Give it a perfect contrast. How it just like fades from lighter to very light. And then you got that like that pink purplish fuchsia looking sneaker colorway there. Little hits in the toe box. Normally um, I would see this and they would throw in some kind of um, 3M here. But I like how it just like pops. It just does a little here and there and the color is very consistent the only one that is not the same is the inside of the sneaker here it's a lighter looking pink um but um for the most part sneaker is fire i love it i love the sleekness of it the way it rides really low it's a really low riding sneaker yeah so yeah youtube i hope you enjoyed the video Hit the thumbs up, hit the thumbs down, whatever have you. Um, so yeah, that's the sneakers of the decade that I picked up. Um, I could have done uh, all Jordan top 10, but you know, I'm a sneaker head and I'm not just gonna give you Jordans. It's just not happening or LeBron's or, you know, just the same thing. I had to switch it up. Um, I've always loved runners and, um, of course I had to throw in some Jordans and, you know, lucky enough to get other sneakers in here. And some of them, I did pay a resale, um, but I didn't pay resale for the red October. That's all I'm going to say. But yeah, YouTube, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's your boy Logan J signing out. Peace.